It's the war for the wheel. It'll be only the sixth time that there's been a war for the wheel. It will be the 91st time that both these teams have met. What a series it has been between the Red Hawks and Salukis alongside Mike Trude. I am Luke Martin. Mike, the war for the wheel has definitely spiced up this rivalry over the last decade or so, but what's been the biggest reason that you feel like this rivalry has just taken on more of its own, especially with Coach Tuke and Coach Hill? I, I think it, it starts with Coach Tuke getting the job 10 years ago. He's in his 10th year at Southeast and reviving the program and making it something that is special now for the folks in the Southeast Missouri region. And it renewed the rivalry between uh, Southern and Southeast Missouri. Southern for quite a while just dominated it, although Southeast leads the overall series. But now that Tuke has brought that program back up, they're, they're one of the tops in their conference year in, year out. It's once again a very competitive game. I don't think it's any secret that the reason they've had success has been their running game. They've been top 20 nationally the last two years. Geno Hess, with now the injuries that they look up here that they will have on the offense, he's going to get another bulk of that load on Saturday. And Geno has been really, really good. Not incredibly awesome against Southern because Southern's always been pretty good against the run, but Geno's averaging over five yards, in fact, over five and a half yards per carry every time he touches the ball against Southern. He has over 377 total yards in four years against the Salukis. Only has a couple of touchdowns, so hasn't been a dominating force inside, but still, Every time he touches the ball, he's averaging over five and a half yards. It's going to be interesting to see what type of passing attack they have on Saturday night. Mike Trude is Ryan Flournoy. He's expected to miss. And Dale McDonald, who's not just a key wide receiver for them, but a really good impact return guy, is also expected to miss the game. There's definitely holes to be filled for SEMO, but as you mentioned, Coach Took, he's done a great job filling that cover. They're going to have plenty of talent ready for Saturday night. Uh, number one is the quarterback, Paxton DeLaurent, 6'5", 220, legitimate potential pro-style quarterback, can throw the ball, make every throw that is necessary. He runs the ball well, tough to bring down with just the first guy. And Demarion Vick really stepped up against Lindenwood last Saturday in Flournoy's absence and ended up with 10 catches in the game. And so he may end up being the number one target for DeLaurent. The backs don't do a lot of catching out of the backfield. He likes to throw it downfield, but it starts and ends with trying to stop Paxton DeLaurent. So, Lukey fans may be wondering, you've heard that name Vic before? Yes, you have. He was at Missouri State prior, his first game against the Salukis, 2018, and still in college football this year. Defensively, one of the areas that you can see over the years they've been really good at, Mike Trude, is getting turnovers. The last two years they have produced 16 or more turnovers on the year. A big part of that is because of a very physical defense. Physical and very aggressive in the defensive backfield. They play a lot of man coverage and they play tight man coverage. They take chances. Every once in a while you'll get that interference call. That's part of the game. But they will come right back and, and grab that ball from you. Taylor had a couple of picks. Or in the, the He leads them with interceptions with two this year. Again, they're a little bit banged up in the secondary. They're a little bit banged up all over. We're not really sure who all is going to be on the field. But even their backups at in the secondary are very capable people. Two ranked teams going at it. It's only the second time in this series that both these teams have been ranked. It's the highest either of these two teams have been ranked in terms of both of them being within the top 15. So let's point it simply, Mike Trude. Yes, we understand the trophy's on the line. Another win is on the line. But how important is this game in the grand scheme of things? It's interesting because for the Salukis, it seems like when they beat Southeast Missouri State, they go on to have a great season, potentially a playoff season. When they lose to Southeast Missouri State, the season for some reason seems to just have a little bit of that eh to it, and they just don't live up to maybe their own expectations or their goals. So it ends up being a really critical game if you look at the last maybe 10 years of the competition between these two teams and look to see how Southern did the remainder of the season. So in that regard, it's very big, but also big because if, if the Slukies can start 3-0, and it really sets up the entire rest of the year. You get the bye week, and then you start conference play, and it, it just all lays itself out perfectly. 
It's early, and this is the part where I'm sure both coaches are plugging their ears when we say this, but this would be a win on the resume. That helps a ton when it gets towards the end of the year, when you think of the FCS playoff and, of course, where you could potentially be seated. But there's a lot of football in between now and Saturday night, let alone the rest of the year. You can join Mike and myself on Saturday. We will have the call for you. Kickoff is 6 o'clock from Cape Girardeau. We look forward to having the call for you then. So for my partner, Mike Trude, I am Luke Martin. Go dogs!